Welcome back, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, and I'm here to talk to you about pop culture, Star Wars, toys, 80s, whatever in the mood, whatever we're in the mood to talk about. If I can get it out, we're going to talk about it. First up, before we get started, as always, if you want to support this channel, head over to Patreon.com. We got a lot of exclusives coming over there the first of the year. You want to check that out. You can also support us by going to ThatJunkMan.com or StarWarsJunk.net. And buy some cool t-shirts like this one right here. Look at that one. Look who's talking. You know, like look who's talking, but it's look who's talking. Funny stuff right there. We got a lot of cool shirts. Um, anyway, what are we going to talk about today? Well, man, look how dirty this hat is. Anyone know how to clean a hat? I've gotten a toothbrush and I've scrubbed it and everything and I've washed it. And, oh, God, it's dirty. I've got to do something with it. I need another one. If anybody ever sees a hat like this, let me know. I can't find one anywhere. Apparently, I even emailed the company and they don't make them anymore. It was just an exclusive celebration. But I'm rambling. That's what I do. I should call myself the rambling man. Anyway, what are we going to talk about today? Well, the reason I'm down this little box is we're going to look at some pictures on the internet. No, not those kind of pictures. We're going to look at good pictures. We're going to look at toys from the 80s or mostly 80s, mostly vintage Star Wars stuff. Pictures of them at the store. That's right. We're going to try to travel back in time. Do you remember toy stores back in the 80s? It's nothing like today. And when I say toy stores, I mean not just like Toys R Us or KB Toys or Lionel's Play World or Playland or smaller stores like Wilson's or TGNY, Zayers, Kmart, Walmart, Target, all those right there. When you walk into them now, you see a little section, maybe a four foot section. Half of that will be Star Wars shared with another toy line. But back in the 80s, when you walked up to a toy section, you probably saw at least eight foot of Star Wars stuff. Maybe more than that. Some stores, the whole action figure aisle. They had one whole aisle that was nothing but Star Wars. Uh, I guess the closest thing today you get to that is when we had Toys R Us, but sadly that's gone now too. Anyway, let's look at these pictures. I'm going to comment on them and maybe we'll have a little fun and learn a little thing here or there too. Who knows? Let's look at this first one right here. Now, if you see I'm glancing off and not looking at you, sorry about that. I'm trying to check these pictures out. Uh, the first one we have is, I see in the picture, a black and white photo of a kid with a bowl haircut. Whew, they loved them bowl haircuts back then. He looks like he's got a ugly, ugly uh, sweater that his, that his Mima, uh made him probably for the holidays. Uh, let's see, we got Space Mountain 1999 Moon Base. Uh, I think, my, no, my brother had the ship, the Space 99 spaceship. And it's funny, it's Space 1999, supposed to be the future. And here we are, what, going on 2019. Um, see, so got some more figures. That looks like it's some Space 1999, yeah, Space 1999 figures at the top up there. Uh, yeah, but I see a Star Trek too, so I'm going to zoom in on that Star Trek real quick. Okay, it's a phaser. It's one of the Star Trek guns. That's okay. Let's go to the next picture here. That one's really small, so let me zoom in on that one. it's really fuzzy can't really tell much when i zoom in on it but it is a star wars end cap i see the dipping dots no dot dot they're not called dipping dots or something like that i don't think they're dipping dots but they're down at the bottom down there i see a darth vader on card and r2 on card uh picture's really grainy i think i see a luke mm, i'm not sure what the bottom x-wing thing is i can't tell if it's a puzzle it doesn't look like the board game let me go back out here. I can't really tell what that is. Down at the bottom shelf looks like a bunch of uh, Kenner puzzles. Let's go to a better picture. I can, can't really comment on that one. And this looks like a store setup. This looks really cool. Uh, the background, backdrop back there looks like a um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. There, sorry about that. Just kind of out of mind fart there for a second. Uh, I see an R2-T2. I see a female... Mannequin dressed up like Luke Skywalker holding a lightsaber and a rolled up newspaper. I guess who's going to swat a bantha that came into his yard or something. Uh, I see something down in the corner, but it looks like it looks like Vader without his mask on. I don't know what that is. Got some really dark eyes. I see kind of some kind of spaceship down the corner. Can't really make too much out. If it was in color, it'd be, I think I see a disco ball back there. So, you know, it's the 70s. Got to have a disco ball. Um, looks like the Luke has some kind of binoculars, but I can't tell if they're Star Wars related. I don't remember them making any toy binoculars like that, like Luke had in the film. See some more toys on the ground, but let's go. I'm ready to get to the color pictures, aren't you? Uh, let's go to the next one. 
Another black and white picture. Let me blow this up for myself here. Uh, on the back wall, we, of course, we got some 12-inch figures or large-scale action figures. We've got the, I see Leia, I see Darth Vader, I see Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker, tons of them. Let's see what we got down at the bottom shelf. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe you can help me. Uh, let's, that robot looks like it's from Battlestar Galactica. Hmm. If I don't remember Battlestar Galactica having any uh, figures like that, and them look like 12-inch figures. I'm not, that box doesn't look familiar at all. Maybe you guys can help me out. Uh, I see over in the corner over there, we got some Star Wars figures hanging up. Let me go see what. Yeah, we got. Uh, see the Death Star gunner, Stormtrooper, some of the diecast little diecast ships. Uh, over here on the other side, we've got uh, the box. We got the uh, Luke Skywalker laser gun. Uh, we got an upside down Star Wars X Wing. Somebody should have flipped that box over. Someone didn't know what they were doing before they took the picture, I guess. Uh, a lot of X Wings. Look at all the X Wings we got. And then we got the CBA radio head uh, at the top over there. See if I recognize anything else. Mm, mm, some X Wings. Now let's go on to the next one then. Okay, another black and white one. Let me zoom in here. Uh, we got a cardboard display back in the back of Darth Vader. Love to have that. Wouldn't that be awesome to have? Um, we got a whole section that says science fiction, so we know it's science fiction. We got the X Wings again. Again, one X Wings upside down. What was it about people in the 80s? They always turn one box up down. Well, I guess it was the 70s because I don't see any Empire Strikes Back stuff. Uh, I think that might be a land speeder. I see a lady over there shopping with her child. She's got a black purse and I see the back of his head, but. Don't really see anything else. It's really hard to tell in these black and white pictures, so don't worry. We'll get the color ones soon. Here we go. Color ones right here. A little. This is 1983, around then, maybe 84, probably 83. The. Uh, I wish I could tell what story this. I can't really tell, but we see an end cap right there with the Return of the Jedi vintage Kenner stuff on it. We see a Dagobah. We saw the X-wing in Dagobah. Um, looks like a Size Noodles and the Max Rebo band. A uh, figure pack, a Rancor, the B-Wing, one of my favorite ships, the B-Wing. Don't you love the B-Wing? It's right there, whole end cap full. Uh, I'm trying to see stuff in the background. Don't really see anything else that I can really recognize there. Oh, I do see an ad at way back there in the corner on the shelf down at the bottom. Uh, something called Power Lords. I don't know what that is. Maybe some of you do know. Uh, another color picture. Let me zoom in a little bit on it. Uh, okay, I don't see any Star Wars here, but this is G.I. Joe Heaven. If you're into G.I. Joe, look at that. we got the figures right there, probably a little four-foot section of action figures. Um, and then we got all these. It looks like an airplane. Yeah, it's kind of aircraft carrier. Got a bunch of them. I don't know G.I. Joe, so I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here, but that is a lot of G.I. Joe, so let's go to the next one. Okay, another one that's not really for the um star wars fans we've got a mask a lot of people ask me about mask and there we go got two shelves of mask um i can't really make out what the other one's called i've seen that logo before maybe again again can help me out with that one not really sure what that one is uh in that blue package and we got some like a little flying creature sorceress is that what it says i can't see really good sorry about that uh let's see what else we got here okay we got this little kid really proud looks like he just found the figure he's been looking for and he's going to take home a royal guard yeah there you go great figure kid this looks like uh again this looks like probably around 84 still got the return of the jedi logo on it so it's before 85 so 83 84 we got but there's a lot of empire figures uh so this is must have been really early in 83 before they started shipping a lot of the uh Return of the Jedi because I see that he's got the guard and that's the rest of them I see are Empire. I see the Adat Commander, I see an original uh Tusken Raider, a Chewbacca, a Bespin Leia, Death Star Droid, Forlom, or for L O M, whatever one you want to call it. No, that's not Zuckus, that's Forlom. Um, and then I see that in the basket down. So they had, I guess, this little inkit with a basket in front of it, just loaded up with Star Wars stuff. Look at that. Whew, what if there was a time machine, right? Uh, here's some Thundercats. This little kid's pointing right at it. He's saying, here, uh, pointing right at it. Say, here, Bubby, here's a Thundercat. You can get in and put it in your Thundercats lunchbox. Let's go to the next one here. 
Uh, here is a little cool kid. Looks like he's probably around 13 or 14. He's shopping by himself, so he's a little bit more independent than some of the younger kids. Uh, it's probably his first day out ever going to a toy store. His mom's probably there uh, over in the other section, probably looking at some of the uh, stuff for his little baby sister, you know, because she's her birthday's coming up. So she's probably over to shop and let him wander off by himself. You know, we wandered off a lot by ourselves back then more than we do today. You know, today you wander off, you're worried if somebody's going to touch your bottom. Oh, uh, I see, uh, this is Empire Strikes Back, so we're looking at about 1980, between 80 and 82. Uh, I see, I see a Bosque, I see a FX7. Looks like a kid's face behind the FX7. Uh, I see a Play-Doh set right there, an Empire Strikes Back action Play-Doh set right there. Uh, the kid's got something in his hand, can't tell what it is. Looks like it, looks like a little small camera, I'm not sure, maybe it's a Walkman, who knows what it is, it could be anything. Uh, see a lot of figures. He's got his hands. I can't tell for sure. Yeah, he's got himself on a Hoth Commander. That's what he's thinking about. Again, he's picking it up. He's going to look at the back of the card, check the back of it, see what he has, what he doesn't have. That's one good thing you don't do today. Hasbro doesn't put a checklist on the back, so kids don't know what figures are out or what figures to get. Mm. So he's going to pick up this one. He's going to decide if he wants to. He's going to look at the back of it, maybe. I always carried a back card with me that had them checked off the ones I needed, the ones I didn't have. She didn't want to get home and find out you wasted your money or your gammy's money on something you already had. At the top of the shelf, we got some TIE Fighters, die cast TIE Fighters, and something on the very end down there. I can't really tell what that is. So let's go look at the next one. Here's another cool kid. Got him a new jacket for Christmas. So he's wearing it, although it's probably not really that cold outside, but he decided to wear it anyway. It's got a little fur lining in it. He's going to wear it so he can, you know, so he can show off his new jacket. Now, he's got a shopping cart down there. If you're in the South, you call it a buggy, but no one else really seems to do that. And now, the shelf has a lot of C-3PO's. Now, this is everything here. Oh, I see an Empire box. So this is 80. And being that they still have some Star Wars boxes, I'm going to say it's right around 1980, probably not 81. Um... I see a bunch of 3PO's, tw uh, large size, 12 inch, R2-D2, I think that's what he's looking at, an R2, I see R2 on the top shelf, um, some Empire Strikes Back stuff down at the bottom down there, I see the Hall Imperial base back there in the back, let's see what else we got, okay, here's a little promo, and here's a little display picture, probably taken at some toy store for the Empire Strikes Back around 1980, we've got a bottom shelf of an Ad-Ad and a Millennium Falcon, um, then we got three rows of Star Wars figures, uh, mostly Star Wars. Well, just Star Wars and Empire. Mostly Star Wars. There's a few Empire. I see a Lando and a Bespin Leia on there, a Haunt Hall. You know, about, it's kind of about mixed. Get the R2. Uh, that's the original R2, I think, before they put on a sensor scope. So I think that's kind of hard to find him, uh, R2 on that card before they changed him to the sensor scope. Uh, we see a display back there, a little display cardboard. Love to have that. It says collect all 41 action figures. And it's got pictures of all the new figures. That would look good in the junk room. Uh, here's a little picture here. It's kind of grainy. You can't really tell much. It looks like some 12 inches on display here. I uh, see Boba Fett. Um, now Han. Han's looking like, got his hands out like this. I can't show you on the camera. But hands, for some reason, Han's got both of his arms stretched out. Luke only has one. Can't really tell what Leia's doing. Someone hung up, hung up an X-Wing and a TIE Fighter back there. The X-Wing looks like the one Luke gets in. The TIE Fighter looks small like the die cast. I see Vader, 3 beer, all the 12 inches. Uh, you see the die cast down at the bottom. There's the three pack. Man, look how many three packs they have. Those are hard to find too. Those are rare. Got a lot of three packs down there. And then another little display with the uh, figures in it. It's a little cardboard cutout, a uh, little cardboard shelf thing that the figures fit, uh, fit in. Uh, can't really see because it gets dark, but there's like some more Star Wars stuff on the side. Here's another one. Looks like a cardboard display in the back. Uh, telling you about the new Boba Fett action figure. Man, that'd be awesome to have them. This is all 19. We know the Boba Fett offers there. It's got to be 79. But we have a lot of Star Wars figures. Uh, all these in this picture are from the original 12. We got Tusken Raider, 3PO, R2, and a Jaw. Very cool right there. And I see it's coming a little Spider-Man thing, Spider thing over to the side. Uh, here's another one. This one's taken at Kmart uh, around 83. Uh, Return of the Jedi stuff. I mean, I'm going to say 83 because it's still got the Micro Machine collections. They hadn't discontinued it yet. Uh, we're looking at a top shelf with Akbar, General Medine, Biker Scout, uh, Luke Skywalker Jedi, Akbar, Darth Vader. Then we got the Micro Machines collection down there, the Hulk base. Uh, looks like a TIE Fighter one. I can't really tell. I think the middle one is the best spin one. Best one's at the bottom for sure. We got a TIE Fighter. We got a Scout Walker down at the bottom. 
We got the bandolier straps down there and more scout walkers. See if I see anything else around the edges here. I don't can't really make out anything else in this picture. Now it says here that there's twenty one ninety six. I'm not sure what that price is for. The figures aren't twenty one ninety six, and I hope that's not two thousand one hundred ninety six. So I'm not really sure. It says our lowest price. So I'm not really sure what that price is for. You think it's you know it's an in cap with you know eight different things on it in one price. Let's see what's next here. There's another end cap here. We've got uh, Return of the Jedi figures. We've got Akbar, General Benin, Obi-Wan, uh, Bifatuna. we got a Imperial Troop Transporter, which I'm surprised is still around because I thought, I thought on the Empire box that was just uh, Sears only. I could be wrong about that. This doesn't look like a Sears for me. Sears, I remember. Um, I'm surprised being this in the Return, that the Return of the Jedi stuff's on the shelf that they still had this that many Imperial Spears, uh, I mean, Imperial Troop Transporters. This is the one that doesn't talk. You know, the first they released it around 78, uh, and it talked, and then they took the talking stuff out of it and kind of re-released it. It was a Rebel Transporter, and now the Imperial Transporter, but they're both the same thing, just different name. And so we got a Scout Walker, and then on the bottom shelf, you don't recognize those, those are model kits right there. We got a Falcon and an X-Wing and a couple other ones down there. Let's see what else we got. Okay, we got another store display here, a cardboard sign says Star Wars Toy Center. That's pretty cool. We got the Diecast Falcon, the remote control R2D2. Uh, I got a land speeder over there, a 12-inch Vader. A little like some more of the three packs. Uh, it's too dark to really make out what the other things are. That's pretty cool though. For some reason it's sitting on a nightstand or somebody's treasure drawers. Not really sure why. That's weird. Uh here's another good toy picture here. Uh, you can see the figures at the top. We get, of course, Return of the Jedi figures mixed in with some Empire figures. We got the Job of the Hut play set, action figure set down there. Uh, then we got the Rebel Troop Transporter. So we can still see a mixture of the Empire logo and the Return of the Jedi logo. Lego, logo. So we understand this is um, a lot, probably right at the time the Jedi stuff was hitting the stores. Because I see some Empire Strikes Back figure logos too, and I figure they were gone. Looks like they have an end cap set up also, but you can't really see a good picture of that. Um, there's the troop transporter again. So that thing must have been pretty heavy in the rotation, I thought. It must not have been as rare as I was thinking it was. Now, uh, we got another picture here. This one here is He-Man, Masters of the Universe. I call him He-Man. My brother used to get mad at me. and be like, that's not He-Man. That's not He-Man. It's called Masters of the Universe. Well, I just call it He-Man. Uh, we got Prince Adam. We got that guy that with the long neck. This looks like one of the first May 1st. Series one and two, maybe. Uh, of course, we got Castle Grayskull. We got that flying bird thing. Sorry, I don't. Well, this is my. This is a little later than I thought because I see some of the Hor Hordak guys down there. So that's really later. So it's near what, 84, 85, maybe. Uh, some of the He Man experts probably can tell me more. Don't really see nothing else on there that I really recognize. Uh, here's a looks like a toy store display from the outside. You got the uh, Empire Strikes Back logo. A lot of Empire Strikes Back toys. We got figures and Falcons and Puppet Yoda. Lots of things in here. We got a troop transporter again. Man, that troop transporter finds its way into every picture. We got some kind of little, uh, what's that say? Fair Play Toy Shop, I think that's the name of it. Got a little Darth Vader sign. Looks like they made it themselves. Doesn't like anything official. Might be. Doubt it though. Let's go to the next one here. Ooh, finally a bigger picture. This is G.I. Joe. Now, like I said, I don't know G.I. Joe. Maybe you do, so... Not really, can't really point out what I'm looking at here. I see some ships that come with figures. Don't see any action figures unless they're with the with a toy or a ship or something. Something was on sale for a $69.99. I wonder what that was, but they got it marked down to a cheaper price, whatever it was. Okay, let's go to this next one, this Empire Strikes Back. Uh, nice little uh, cardboard display at the top. That would be awesome to have our little shelf talkers they call them with the city Empire Strikes Back on it. Uh, of course, we got the Play-Doh set again, the Play-Doh Empire action set. We got the Tauntaun. I believe that's the closed belly, bo closed belly box. We got the Egg Swing. We got Tie Fighter. We got Slave One, the Twin Pods, uh, and we got that one down at the bottom, a little snow play set down there, comes with the Probe Droid. We got the Snow Speeder. We got Dagobah, and down at the very bottom, we got Adat, and we got a sign. Looks like it's a little homemade call that says uh, Star Wars toys. Uh, here's another. This is, I wish this was a little bigger. This is really small, so I can't really talk about this one. But it is a wall of action figures. Look at all those Star Wars action figures. Whew. Now, I saw a lot of Star Wars figures when I went to Toy Story. I never saw anything like this, I don't think, back then. 
Let's go to the next one here. Oh, a beautiful shot of some of the box stuff. We got a Millennium Falcon, Death Star Star Destroyer, Dagobah, Speeder Bike, the same old things, but it's a lot of it. it. Goes way down there. Look at that. Man, I really remember going to stores. Like I can remember top of my head, Kmart, a Kmart in town. I can see it in my head still. Uh, looking at the Star Wars, I can see it in my head right where it is. And it's like this. I remember that, and I remember the original Star Wars figures before the Empire logo being at Azair's. I, can, I, could, I could go in that store right now if it was still around and walk you right to it. Or at least I think I can. That looks like that's it. That's all the pictures. That's 25 vintage Star Wars pictures. Toy pictures. I was going to say Star Wars. We got a few things in there that wasn't Star Wars. But I hope you enjoyed looking at that. And I hope you uh, brought back some memories of being in the toy stores back in the 80s. Or if you didn't grow up in the 80s, I hope you can say, man, looks like I missed the good time to be alive to be a toy fan. But hey, you kids got stuff today that we don't have that we would have we would have been crazy about if we knew we could uh, play with some of the stuff you play with today. But I do miss the toy stores looking like this and not looking like a tornado just came down the aisle kicking everything onto the floor, pegs all empty, maybe two or three of the same figures you've been seeing for six months. But ah, I had a lot of Star Wars stuff. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. As always, support us over at Patreon. Links in the description below. Or buy some shirts over at thatjunkman.com. want to thank you for watching. We'll be back very soon. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.